welcome to my first YouTube video. And because my name is Luke Skywalker, and yes, the Force is with me, I'll have a 25 effort for mine, please. Thank you. I've been coined Luke Skywalker from day one since my mum and dad's excellent decision to name me Luke Anthony Walker. So I thought, you're all going to take the piss out of me anyway, so hello, I'm Luke Skywalker. Now, I know all this information about the effort for mine not being exactly correct. However, for me, it provides some target on what is humanly achievable and I think anybody that gets to a 25 FMI has an incredible physique and a hell of a lot of muscle mass. So my goal, my, my target is to get around that level. So I'm an online coach. This is where the magic happens in my box room office. And I've been a PT of 10 years, now an online coach. So basically I'm here to share my mortal natural bodybuilding journey and hopefully educate and motivate you to keep going with your own goals, especially at this present time, going through these lockdowns that we're going through. And hopefully, add a little bit of entertainment as we go. You're probably gonna think it's shit, but God loves a trier, as my nan used to say. And a trier is what I am. My goal, simple, Goku base form. What is my background? Well, I've got a home alone type family. I am one of five. I am the eldest, so I bullied every one of them. I have been a window cleaner in the past. I worked in a fruit and veg stall at Booths. How long have I been lifting? Uh, I've been lifting around six years, started at about 26. I've been lifting intelligently for the last two to three years. That six year span has had football in it two to three times, so that has definitely uh, obviously got in the way of building muscle mass. Played at semi pro level in about six years. The first few years was trying all sorts of shit like the Arnold Schwarzenegger Encyclopedia, 15,000 sets per workout, atrophied instantly. And then obviously you learn about uh, the ins and outs and the science behind bodybuilding. I think training as it stands right now is the best it's ever been. So I would say, yeah, the last two to three years I've been training more intelligent, intelligently before. That was the case of just trying programs online. And I competed as well um, about a year and a half ago. Uh, God, when was it? 2019, October, I think it was, uh, in the NPA, Natural Physique Association. Uh, first ever time competing, dieted way too harshly, ended up having to lose three pounds per week for the last four or five weeks. Landed on stage, absolutely, but, um, but it was a great experience and I learned a hell of a lot from it. However, my goals now are to spend a few years training intelligently and trying to add mass, particularly in weak areas. My true on dying love. These two aren't bad either. Anyway, enough of the boring stuff. Time for some lifting of the iron. Physique check in. Here I have zero pump. I'm freezing my nips off. The whole fella natties, I feel your absolute mortal pain. I, I genuinely hate pausing without a pump because it just makes you feel shit. But I wanted to be fully transparent in regards to where. I'm up to and how I look just on a typical normal day without lifting. And in regards to my training, I'm several cycles into a mass phase and definitely starting to lose my aesthetics due to fat accumulation. However, the more advanced you get, I believe I'm around end intermediate coming into advanced. Maybe, maybe not. That's where I potentially think I am. Uh, and I basically uh, have to make sure I'm gaining muscle tissue. So I'm, I'm putting my body into a definite surplus and yes accumulating body fat but at the same time covering all bases and making sure that strength is raising and a muscle tissue is being accrued so we begin week one of the new training cycle really looking forward to this cycle just about recovered my fatigue still not feeling 100 percent sharp but good enough to go and uh very excited to get these YouTube videos underway. Never tried anything like this before. Some nice feedback from a few of you. Thank you very much, saying that you would watch my shite. <laughs> so it will just be me uh, talking about a topic, a bit of training, um, and what food I eat, and just my lifestyle, really. A bit of family in there and stuff like that, so it should be pretty cool. Be strong, get fit, live better.
whether you are a natural bodybuilder or an enhanced bodybuilder, watching muscle size grow is literally like watching paint dry. So what I find, especially as a natty, I find it really important to focus on strength progression as well. Otherwise, you're solely focusing on something that you can't see changing for months on end, especially as you become more of an intermediate to advanced. So I find it really important to compare my strength levels and see where I compare to others and where I... Uh, want to be what my goals are so then I have two focuses which makes for me training much more enjoyable and that is on strengthlevel.com notice if you're wondering why there's been no youtube video posted on sunday like i said it would be it's because it takes much fucking longer than i thought it would especially when your computer deletes all of your files and then filmora can't locate them and then the videos that you've created have vanished yeah that's what happened so we're on a bit of a roll now maybe 65 70 percent through the video gone through so many obstacles technology obstacles I've learned a hell of a lot, but it's been a bit of an eye-opener, this YouTube creating business. Especially, you know, you want to put a bit of effort into them. I don't want it to be shit. I'm going to be shit anyway, but anyway, we're on a roll now. And uh, hopefully I'll have it posted within the next two to three days. Actually looking forward to, uh, to getting it up, finally. That sounds dodgy. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle,
by 15 to 16, if you're more of a beginner, if you're new to exercise, if you're like intermediate to the height of intermediate like myself or even advanced, you would multiply your body weight in pounds by 17 to 18. You can also use an online calculator which puts you in a rough ballpark of where you need to be. However, the best thing to do, once you've got this information, is to find out for yourself. And I've done this many times. You can look at it initially and think to yourself, uh, I can't really bother tracking calories, but again, what isn't measured can't be managed. It will always be this way. So if you are the kind of person that want definite results, you don't want to waste any time, you want the best results in the shortest amount of time, this will suit you best. So what do you want to do? For the next part, which is this one, you will add on, if you're a beginner, potentially 500 calories on top of that number. If you are more intermediate plus, you probably want to add on around 250 calories on top of that. The beginner, the beginner's body is more sensitive and has much more gains to be made because they're brand new. A person that's been lifting longer is less sensitive and will accrue body fat tissue much more easily because their body can't use the materials to build as much muscle. So it makes sense, and this is what research suggests by Dr. Eric Helms, for example, that the beginner goes into a higher surplus and the intermediate to advanced person has a lower surplus above the maintenance calories, okay? Which is what this is. This is your maintenance calories. This is your surplus to allow for uh, your body to build more tissue, to add more tissue to the skeleton, okay? Where do we go from here? We go to, you are staying at these calories for 14 days. In just a seven day period, there's so many fluctuations it, it's not as valid as it needs to be. 14 days allows for a much more valid period. The more accurate you want yours to be, the more weigh you will do in those 14 days. So if you can't do every day, if you can't do that or you don't want to do that, stick to four weigh per week, okay? What we're going to do, this is where the beauty comes in next. We're going to go to this quick example. Say this person takes five weigh in this week, okay? I'm just keeping it simple and short. They will add all of these numbers up, it will give them a total number, then they will divide that by the amount of days they weighed in, which is five. That then equals 174 pounds 48, okay? So as you can see, they may have potentially actually dropped weight over that period of time. This would show them that they are eating slightly less than maintenance calories. And even if it averaged out at maintenance, so just say that ended up at 175. If a person wants to gain weight and gain muscle tissue, it makes sense to increase calories to support your body growing brand new muscle tissue. Because remember, the human body doesn't like to gain new tissue. It always thinks in survival. And more muscle means more calories are needed to keep that muscle tissue in. Your body never knows when the next meal is coming in. So we've got to really push the body, give the body all the tools it needs to gain the muscle. So, you'll increase your calories by one to 200 because you have actually lost a bit of weight potentially. So if, you're, if your weight skyrockets up, you know your calories are far too high, you need to pull back by one to 200, maybe even 300. If your weight drops, or even if you maintain, you can add on one to 200 calories. This is the magic. This is where you make sure your body has the fundamentals, has the materials to build muscle for sure. A lot of people, hard gainers, spin their wheels and never gain weight because they don't track. They think they're eating a lot, but often aren't eating a lot. To force the body into adaptation, we have to feed it so it can give us those juicy gains. I hope this helped. Whoa! It's Should we do her eyes? Yeah! Shall we paint her eyes? Okay. Okay. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment to show some algorithm love. I hope you enjoyed the video. The next video will be about similar stuff. It will include a topic too and it will also include a little bit more of a lifestyle and uh, in regards to baby reveal. See you next time.